Who do you call when you get a 20-year-old cold case? Well, if you get your options, you call Nancy Drew. However, comma, she's not here today. So I just finished reading Missing Clarissa. This book came out last year. It is by the talented... No, not that one. Not that one either. By the talented Miss Ripley Jones. Could be Ms. I'm not sure. By the talented Ripley Jones. We'll just leave it at that. Basically, the gist of this is August 1999, young girl goes missing in a small town called Orville. Makes the national news because, you know, she's young, she's pretty, she's white, all that good stuff. And they never figure out who did it. Did it. Case goes cold. There's no body. Did she just did she run away? Did she get kidnapped? Is she dead somewhere? No idea. So over 20 years later, uh, this book came out in 2023, a couple of juniors, Blair and Cameron, aka Cam, have a journalism assignment. So what they do decide to do for their journalism assignment, well, mainly Cam decides, Blair's just along for the ride. They decide to do a true crime podcast, and they're going to see, you know, what they can find out about uh, Clarissa, that's the name of the missing girl. You know, they're, they're not sure how far they're going to get, but... They think it might be fun. But at some point, as they learn more and more about this girl, it becomes personal. And, you know, now they're they're dug in. Uh, I made that little joke about Nancy Drew at the beginning because at one point in the uh, story, one of the cops calls them the Nancy Drews. So, yes, there was that was an Easter egg. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm not going to tell you what they found out. Uh, I am going to tell you that while this book being you know, about a couple of juniors in high school has a little bit of a YA feel to it. And, and maybe that's where it was aimed at. The story itself was, I think, good enough and adult enough that I don't really consider this a YA book. I am not YA. And, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Uh, you know, it, it's about high school a little bit. Well, about high schoolers, let me put it that way. So is there a couple of things that, you know, I as an adult might think were a little bit over the top? Yes. But all in all, the story is, is really, really good. I am probably going to have to read uh, some more Ripley Jones. Like I said, I put her in that category, kind of like a Neil Schusterman or something like that, where they write a lot of YA books. The books are sometimes YA in name only. So I think, you know, your 20s, 30s, 40s, older we won't say how much older. You're, you're, I think you. I think you'll enjoy it. Like I said, this book only came out last year, and I know, for instance, Amazon. As much as we don't like to say that word, they've only got one copy left in stock. So, like I said, go ahead, feel free, take a look at this book. I don't normally do trigger warnings, and you know, there's not a lot that I would consider. There's no graphic details on anything, so I don't know if it needs a trigger warning. But like I said, this is about a girl who disappears. And, you know, so it's a little bit darker. It's not your, it's, you're not your average everyday YA story necessarily. But I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, also, if you really like female heavy cast, this one is it. Uh, there are men in the story. Don't get me wrong. Um, and not every single one of them is is there as, you know, to be a, a jerk or anything. There's, there's, there's some nice guys in there. But if you do like uh, the female to do the heavy lifting in your stories as well, this one, this book is for you. All right. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did.